All right, so my render has since finished and I have moved all of my images somewhere less super stupid. Um, and I'm just gonna really quick show you guys how to combine all of these random still images into an actual video. So I'm gonna use DaVinci Resolve, um, just make an untitled project. This is really similar to Premiere in the way that it works. Um, the free version, which I have, doesn't like TIFFs, uh, which is why I rendered to PNG. After Effects, Premiere, don't care. Um, I will link videos in the description to how to do this with After Effects. There's like one difference, I just don't have access to it. So I will not be doing the videos for that currently. So, in uh, Resolve, pretty straightforward. Just go to File, Import Media, and find wherever you put your stuff on your desktop, or wherever you put your stuff on your computer. Not terrifying at all. Render tutorial. Great. Alright, so, and then for this, I'm just going to do Control A, select all my images in my folder, um, and they happen to all be the same, you know, part of the same animation. If they were labeled differently, uh, it would bring it in as separate clips. So you can actually see, like, if I scrub through this, like, weird little, um, thumbnail, that it is basically all of the frames combined into one. So Resolve does a thing automatically where if it notices things in a sequence, it will bring them in as a sequence automatically. So I just drag that down onto my timeline, and I should be able to just sort of watch this very sad animation that I've just rendered out. Um, in Resolve, that's really all there is to it. In After Effects, there's like one... When you're doing import media, um, you would select all of your images like you normally would, and then somewhere in the open box there should be a little tick box for image sequence. You just want to turn that on, and that's going to tell After Effects, hey, instead of importing 120 separate still frames. Uh, these are sequential, like they're labeled sequentially. Please import them as a sequence uh, like Resolve just did. Um, and then you would just export pretty much as normal. So in Resolve, I'm just going to go in and be like, ah, what if I like pick a place? I don't know. This is literally just going to be me exporting it. If you're familiar with these settings, uh, then shrugs. Uh, I will also say, oh god, I'm just going to put this on my C drive. Why not? <laughs> uh, I will say that Depending on the length of the video you're exporting, uh, you should also compress these further because this isn't necessarily the most efficient way to do things. Um, I will usually use H.264 as my compression codec. Um, and I will, again, link a video to about how to do that with Adobe Media Encoder because it compresses stuff really, really nicely. Um, in the description, I unfortunately... Okay. Uh, I unfortunately just don't have Media Encoder on my computer. Let's try that one instead. Hooray! And this will slowly go through and render, and it should be pretty quick, because this is like a half-second clip. Probably just thrown it somewhere weird in my D drive. Great. Hooray! It rendered in 11 seconds. Um, so if I ran this for Media Encoder, I'd probably throw uh, a little bit of the clips off, or I'm sorry, it would probably shave a few of the kilobytes off. But you can see that now we have a silly little animation. And uh, if I hit repeat, uh, it should loop. It's actually going to loop wrong, uh, but I'll go over that again in probably just the next video I do is going to be how to make a looping animation and like render this out. Um, there's like a few things to specifically note, but it's nothing particularly fancy. So. That's more or less exporting all your images. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, I might make some updated videos for After Effects and uh, Media Encoder at some point. With Media Encoder, just make sure that you're using an H.264 codec because it does do things very, very efficiently.